Hi everybody, this is Debbie with BlackPugDogs.com and today I want to take just a couple minutes to share some information with you about our favorite dog breed, the Black Pug Dog. Now the Black Pug Dog is a member of the toy group or a member of the AKC toy dog group and these are among some of the oldest of the dog breeds there are known to man today. Now these dogs can be traced back to at least around 400 BC where uh, Buddhist monks in Tibet kept these dogs as pets. Now it's believed that they got their name uh, because they were compared to uh, little marmoset monkeys that were also very popular during the 1700s. There's little facial expressions and everything. A lot of people kind of compared them to it and that's where some people believe that they have managed to end up getting their name of Pug. Now these dogs come in several colors. They come in black. Now they also come in a, a cream or a fawn color. Uh, and uh, we love them all. They're our beautiful little creatures. Now these dogs also come in, in a, you know different shades, like we said before, cream, apricot, or even like a, a almost a silver color. Now these dogs are a very even-tempered little breed. They're playful, outgoing. They're also very loving, and, and they just enjoy being around their people. They've also been often referred to as being called Molto and Parvo, which means basically that it's a lot of dog in a small space. Now these little dogs are, are kind of square in shape and in stature. Um, they're usually around 14 to 18 pounds in weight and they have a nice short uh, little coat. It's very smooth and fine and it's also very, very easy to care for. Now little pug babies are just adorable. And as you can see here, uh, they also have just the typical, you know, the little short snout, short dark coat, or the, in this case, since it's black, the short coat, short dark coat, but it's a short coat, very easy to care for, and they're just beautiful, beautiful little dogs. Now, um, because pugs lack these longer snouts, and you can see it pretty easy in this, in this face, in this case, excuse me, um, they don't have the longer snouts like most dog breeds and they also don't have that uh, skeletal brow like many dogs do or that brow ridge. These dogs can oftentimes have problems uh, and eye injuries you know such as puncture wounds or whatever because their little eyes are just so easy to, to get to. You know they're not protected as well as in some of the other dog breeds. Uh, so they can maybe have puncture wounds or scratch corneas or even entropion. Now pugs also have a very compact little breathing passageway and then you can see again quite well in this picture here this beautiful little booger um, and this can cause problems with their breathing and also with the ability for them to be able to regulate their temperature and any of these complications can easily lead to you know injury or even death if they're allowed to stay in very really hot locations for a long period of time such as a hot car or even outside on hot days when the condition uh, the temperatures are like over 80 degrees Fahrenheit or higher so you just want to make sure that you keep your little baby in a cool space and like we said before these dogs are especially heat and cold sensitive and so they're very susceptible to heat stroke and quite easily simply because of those short little flat faces that, that is just you know s such an important part of this breed. Now these dogs also have a very short coat and it's very easy to take care of. It requires very little grooming but the folds and the wrinkles around their face, around their muscle and their, and their eyes and that sort of thing uh, needs to be cleaned often. And these dogs also snore and wheeze, and some people call it a snuffle, but they uh, they do make a lot of noise um, because of their short little little snoots that they have. Uh, but otherwise, they're generally a pretty healthy little dog breed. Some people even call them little angels, but you know that's that's up to you. Now these dogs do get along well with other children and pets, but they can become jealous if they're you know if they feel they're just not getting enough attention. So you just need to be aware of that. Now the uh, black pugs originated in China around 12 and usually they live around to be 12 to 15 years of age and again uh, we, like we said before they come in solid black they can also come in kind of a silver color or even an apricot or a, a tan color. Um, these dogs can have problems with allergies, uh, they have chronic breathing problems, they also have skin problems and, and also eye problems so just keep all this in you know uh, if you're thinking about getting a pug, you know, bringing a baby home, just make sure you keep all these things in mind before you bring them home. And they can make wonderful dogs, and uh, overall, they uh, just don't bark a whole lot. They're pretty docile, 
and they're very good with children and other animals. They're also, you know, very highly intelligent little dogs, and they're very social. So the best home for any of these guys would be indoors with the family. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the pug, or if you need any kind of pug product or pug, pug gift, excuse me, please visit our website anytime at blackpugdogs.com. And here we have just all sorts of things that are dedicated to nothing but the black pug dog of the pug dog breed. And please feel free to come by anytime and check us out. Again, that's www.blackpugdogs.com. We'd love to have you come visit us and check us out and see what we have to offer. Thank you so much for your time, and y'all have a good day.